Hi, welcome to Family Arts Saturday. I'm really excited to be part of this new project where Burlington City Arts is bringing Family Arts Saturday to you. I'm Jessie and today we're gonna to do an activity inspired by an artist who is currently exhibiting at Burlington City Arts, Brigitte Verity. Brigitte was a visiting artist at Shelburne Farms and there she learned how to harvest and process clay that she dug from the farm. Today, we're gonna to be learning how to make and process our own clay, not from clay that we dig on a farm, but by ingredients that we find in our own kitchen. To get started, you're gonna to need to gather a few materials. You'll need a bowl and a spoon. I have a wooden bowl and spoon, but you can have yours out of any material. You'll want some water, some measuring cups, some table salt, and some flour. Let's get started on the clay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my warm water in the bowl. This is warm water. I just got it from the tap. Two-third cup. Next, you're going to add half a cup of salt. I'm going to put this right in my water. And I'm going to start to stir it together. I'm trying to dissolve some of the salt into my water, trying to make what should appear like ocean water. All of the salt is not going to dissolve, but a little bit of it will. This takes a little time. I can see my water is starting to get a little bit cloudy and salty looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour. I'm going to need two cups of flour. There's one. Two. Starting to form my clay. All right, when it gets to this consistency where it's a little bit shaggy, not perfect, but I like to use my hands at this point and I start to form it into a ball. Scooping all that flour in there and pressing the dough down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be kneading our clay and this is the really fun part. I also like to think about the way Brigitte worked with the clay that she found. She started by well, she actually started by pounding it with a stick, and you can try that with your spoon if you like, because it's kind of fun. Another thing I liked in Brigitte's video is when she tried to make a spiral. You could try that too. She pushed the clay over onto herself, and then she used her feet, and she started making this kind of spiral pattern as she went around and around and around. It's kind of fun. So when my clay is feeling really smooth and it's looking a little bit shiny, I'm gonna test it and see if it's ready to go. So rolling out of my coil, and then I'm gonna check it out because this is gonna tell me if my clay is ready. And it looks great, there's no cracking, it's super smooth, ready to build whatever I imagine. So this clay, you can use in any way that you like. You could build um, little characters. You could make drawings by making coils. You could use a cookie cutter if you like. Um, I'm, I like to build little characters out of it sometimes. And I do that by starting with a small ball of clay. I just roll it between my hands. And then I put this down. And then I'll take a little less clay this time. Roll that until it feels nice and smooth. And I can just attach it. I don't have to do anything special to attach the two pieces of clay. And now I can start to think about what kind of character I might want. This could be the body and this could be the head. If I wanted an animal, I might choose to add little ears on it or a tail. If I wanted to make a little um, gnome, I could add a pointy hat, I could add wings. 
goes to my character and just keep going from there and let my imagination decide what to do. Sometimes I like to build just with the coils. I can make letters with the coils. Sometimes I need to make a couple coils. When you have finished building your clay, if you have some left over, you can store it in a plastic bag. You just want to make sure whatever it's in, it's sealed tight and this will last for several days. It should stay nice and ready to go for another day. I'm going to put my um, little sculptures that I have made and I just put them on a cookie sheet. I don't have anything on my cookie sheet. It's not greased. It may feel like these are going to stick at first, but they won't. And I've got my oven to 300 degrees. And I'm going to pop this little pan of sculpture in the oven. And I'm going to wait 45 minutes to an hour. At about 45 minutes, I like to check on my artwork. And I notice that it's starting to get a little bit golden brown. I'm going to let it go 15 more minutes. After an hour, I took my sculptures out of the oven and I let them cool for a couple minutes. It's really important to let them cool because this way they're gonna be much easier to pop off the cookie sheet. After they're cool, they should just come right off and you'll notice you've got um, a really lovely golden brown sculpture. My little puppy looks super cute and my clay is really hard and durable. I can start to play with my sculptures now. I've made a couple accessories here. Or if I want to, I could go ahead and add color. I used some acrylic paint on this heart, but you could use any sort of water-based paints. Markers, colored pencils even work, crayons. I am excited for you and your family to start making your own clay and some creations from your own imagination. I'm gonna be back here for Virtual Family Art Saturday next month, May 23rd, for another playful art activity. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you.